renovation starts right now. So guys, Johnny, Polly, Tracy, and Michael, we're in Arizona, and we're driving to a little town called Pinion on the Navajo Reservation to meet the Yazi family. Now, their young son, Garrett, has done something truly amazing to help out his family. Take a look at this tape, and you see why we're here to help. Hi, Hi DC. DC. We're Hi, the Yazi, Yazi family. Welcome, Welcome to our, our home. Our Navajo, we say. This is the Yazi family trailer. It's hard to believe, but six people are living this thing. You've got Garrett, Garrett's mom, Georgia, and his two sisters, Gwen, Geraldine, and Geraldine's two kids. Our home is really falling apart, and we just don't want the wind to really pick up and blow it away one of these days. We're just trying to hang on to it as much as because that's all we have. This place would be hard for anyone to live in, but it's especially hard for the Aussies, and particularly Gwen, who's 12 years old and suffers from epilepsy and severe asthma. It's pretty scary for us, but when, especially when Gwendolyn uh, gets sick because uh, the hospitals for emergency treatment is like an hour drive from here. The family up until two years ago was heating the house uh, with coal burning stove. Well, not only was the coal expensive, but the fumes also made Gwen sick. My sister has really bad asthma, so we couldn't burn firewood or coal. So what I did was I built a water heater and a house heater out of junk. So that's why they, they call me Junkyard Genius. Garrett knew he had to do something to help out his family. He gathered 69 soda cans and an old car radiator, and he invented a solar-powered heating system that didn't run on coal and would make Gwen sick. When the sun hits it, it goes through the plexiglass, it goes through the cans, and that's where the heat comes in. And then it makes its way through the top into the house. Now, Garrett was only 13 when he invented the solar heating system, and he's been nationally recognized uh, for his invention. But the trailer that his family lives in still has tons of problems. Our home is in a poor condition. It's over <laughs> like 30 years old, and a lot of things are not working in our house. It's basically falling apart. You've got holes in the floor, you've got holes in the windows, you've got electricity, but no running water. And they've got tires on the top of it so it doesn't get blown away in a windstorm. This is where we get our water, and in the wintertime, it's very hard for us because it freezes. Inside our trailer, we don't, our bathroom don't work, so this is where we go to use the restroom. Middle of the night, we come out with a flashlight. <laughs> We're arriving just at the right time. A few months ago, Mom Georgia was in an accident. However, she is recovering, and she only has to use a wheelchair part-time, but she's still dependent on her family for all her care. I feel like I'm a burden to them by cheating them out. That they have to deal with me taking care of me instead of me taking care of them. So while Garrett tries to excel at school, his older sister, Geraldine, has really become the family's primary caretaker. She takes care of her brother and her sister, her own two kids, and mom. There's just a lot of responsibility for both of us. No care is trying to do his school. It's just too much. Garrett's dream is to get his family in a house that's safe and built in the tradition of preserving the earth. In the Navajo way, we are taught to use the Mother Earth and Father Sky. So at the age of 13, I just thought to myself, hey, it's time to grow up, come in the house. I just wanted to become an inventor, help my people out. And I really want to work hard because my goal is to get my mom a house. All I can say is, what a kid. Oh my gosh. And Garrett believes in the Navajo way and sustainable living, living off the land. Some people call it green building. And that's the kind of home Garrett would like us to build for his family. So what do you say? Can we do this? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, bring it in, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yeah. Well, then let's do it! Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Everybody ready? Good morning, Yazzie family. Garrett, Georgia, Geraldine, Gwen, Quincy, and Kevin. Come on out here. Hey, buddy. How are you? When we first rolled up to the house, we just looked at that trailer and went, wow. 
and it's really bad. It also makes you stop and think about how people can survive and how people are determined to survive and, and that's part of this culture. And they were making it okay in there, but we're gonna make it a whole lot better. Oh, <laughs> I'm all sick. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, we went through a lot. I did the best of I can, you know, every day. Yeah. I really admire what my son has accomplished. He always said, I'll do something for you, Mom. One of these days, I'll always take care of you and the whole family. And it came true, you know. <laughs> this guy is amazing. And, uh, <laughs> and he's been... I know you've been doing a lot yeah, trying to yeah. get your family. Yeah. And I know you guys have been doing so much. The good news is, is while we're working 247 all week, you guys are going to Disney yeah. World! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Mom, Jolene, why don't you guys show me the house? Okay. Everyone else, show the design team around. What I love about the Navajo is to see how their view of life is. They really look at the Earth and Mother Earth as the home, as living with the land and living in harmony with that, and only taking what you need. And I think this week, you know, I think it's going to open our eyes uh, about a lot of things. Tell me about the, the living room here. So it kind of looks like it's uh, seeing better days, huh? Yep. Uh, and this is the kitchen. Now, this yes, is where you guys cook? Yes, um, we don't have any running water. And this looks like it's kind of a makeshift counter here. Yeah, because our other old counter just collapsed. And, you know, it's just gotten too old. And then pretty much the, even the toilet won't work. So the shower's all broken. We try to tape it, the, you know. When you walk inside the trailer and you realize they've been living like this, you know, there's no, there's no water. They've got a hose coming through a window. If they wanted to take a shower or go to the bathroom, they really can't. I mean, I wouldn't even call what they're living in uh, a trailer. It's, it's barely a roof over their head. I'm lucky enough because I get to do your bedroom. And if <clears throat> frogs is something you love so much, mm -hmm. I, all week long, I'm going to love frogs too. Do you, do you love the lily pads when they sit on the lily pads? And how about that one, that one classic frog pose? Mm. Can you do the one where they're leaping? Mm. You, know, you know that one I'm talking about, yeah. though? I had the opportunity to sit down with Gwen for a while. She's 12 years old, and, and uh, her and her mom sleep in the same bed because that's the way it is in this trailer. But she loves uh, frogs, and she loves uh, water lilies. And so her room will, will have both of those. Who's this? What one? What one? What one? Lightning McQueen. Geraldine, the daughter, has uh, two beautiful little boys. One of them, Quincy, he's two. He, like all little boys, he loves little cars. But more importantly, he loves the movie Cars. So it's a pretty safe bet that if I build him a Cars room, he's going to love it. What's it like growing up here? It's a tough life <laughs> mm -hmm. here on the reservation. Um, you don't got that much resource here like you do in, in the city. Can you tell me if there's anything you can think of that, that we could do for the community? Um, well, the main reason um, is to um, build a school better because they don't have a lot of stuff there, like a science lab and all sorts of stuff, and ha they don't have the stuff like the other schools. What's so amazing uh, about Garrett is that he was trying to stay strong and be the man of the house. He really didn't think about himself. He didn't ask for anything. He just wanted me to help out his family, get him in a decent home, help out his school maybe with some science equipment because he wants his other kids in his community to be able to have the same kind of experience and have a better chance at education. What do you do for fun around here? Well, what I do is um, go around with my cousins. We play paintball every weekend. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, and then we um, get our bikes and start building jumps. Right around. Are those some of the junk you built over here? Yeah. We <laughs> took it from the junk, too. Wow. You really are the junkyard genius, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> okay, so on the way here, I was sort of trying to absorb the whole architecture of the Navajo Reservation. And is there anything, is there any information that I really need to know about architecture or anything about a build? Well, first of all, the house has, I mean, the door has to face east. Okay. The kitchen north. Okay. South and West is our sleeping area. It's really enlightening to come out to the Navajo Reservation and to get an education on what their culture is all about. 
they have a few rules that they abide by. So we're going to stay true to the Navajo way, and I, I'm just really excited to see it actually happen. What do you want? What do you want for your family and your kids and your and your grandkids? We'd like for them to grow up in a in a good home, a loving home, where all our family be together. Garrett, you know, I don't know. He really said, you know, I'll make it change. I'll I'll have some. I'm man of the house, you know. And when things get to me, I set aside, and he's the only one that will know. When I'm really down, he'll come in and he'll comfort me. And he always says, everything will be okay, Mom. Well, we'll, we'll get through it. I promise you. That's why he always says. He says, and I try not to show my emotions to my kids. But it was hard, but... I'll make it happen, Mom. I'm going to take care of you. Remember that promise I made? Because we always make like a pinky promise. And he made that pinky promise to me. And he said, I'll take care of you. I'll tell you what. Give me a pinky promise. Yes. I promise you in one week, uh -huh. you guys are going to have a healthy, safe house. Your family and your grandkids and everyone can grow up in. Yes. Sound good? Yes, it sounds good. When she talks about Garrett, she talks of him as, as you know, the man of the house and, and how she proud she is of him. And the one thing Garrett is really into is what the Navajo believe, which is, you know, walking with the land. And this week, not only are we going to build a house, but we're going to figure out ways to harness, you know, natural resources like the sun, the wind, and really kind of be inspired by Garrett himself. Don't worry about a thing. Let us worry about it, okay? okay. Just have fun with your family. Thanks, man. Yeah. See you when you get back. All right? Okay. Guys, have fun. We'll see you in a week. Okay. All right? Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Geraldine and I were chatting yesterday, so the front door in the east, the kitchen to the north, oh, right. and the fireplace has to be in the center. Okay. And then the sleeping is to the south and west. But I don't think one hogan is going to actually be enough. No, not with a family, not six of them. But what if we did two hogans? And, you know, the entrance could be here. I love that. That's perfect. And then it still is one house. They still, yeah. you know, want to stay close to one another. It's an awesome plan. The hogan is what the Navajo call their homes. It is the traditional housing of the Navajo. And that's exactly what we're going to build this week. It's a six or eight sided structure that is all based around a central fireplace. Now, since Geraldine actually has her own two children, we're going to build two separate hogans. One for Georgia and her kids, and then one for Geraldine and, and the two boys. Hey, guys. How's it looking there? It's okay. empty. It's empty. Yeah. Like the last two boxes. Okay. What's up? Well, we were just talking about, you know, how amazing the land is. And how we can help with this house and with this build. And I, I, I think that we're all in agreement with just going in a green direction. Yeah. We want to do a green build and abide by the Navajo way, which is keep the energy, you know, low and sufficient, recycling anything we can, reusing, thinking green. I really think Garrett will be proud, and I think it'll be really special to see it come through. Remember the guys from Home Life Communities? They helped oh, us yeah. out in North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. They come all the way out here to help again. So, Steve, is there anything you want to say before we kick this thing off? Yeah, Ty, we are here because this is who we are and what we are as a nation. Coming together to help those in need. And we're here to help the Yazi family, help the Navajo Nation. And we're ready to get started. Are we ready? Yeah. what we're doing, so what do you say we let them know? Hello, Yazi family! Hi, Hi. Hi. 
<laughs> Guys, I hope you're having a great time of vacation. Uh, i tell you what, man, today's a really big day. Today's the day we, well, we get rid of the thing you were living in and we build you a new house. And we've got a lot of people here that are going to help us do that. And they'd like to say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Garrett, what you've done is truly remarkable. I mean, the fact that you created a heating device that uses solar power, using an old radiator, and a way to get clean, hot air uh, into the bedroom for your mom and your sister, it's just... It's, it's incredible, and I'll tell you what, you've inspired a lot of people. And I know this thing means a lot to you, so the first thing we're going to do is, before we get rid of this trailer, we're going to save a few things. Let's see if we can't pull this thing off here. So I promise you, we're going to take good care of this thing. Watching that video, I kind of burst out in tears, and posed in tears of joy. It meant a lot to me. If it wasn't for that project, I don't think none of this would have happened. Are we ready to do some demolition? That's your trailer, and it came down quick. And now it's just a big pile of junk. So guys, don't worry about a thing. Have fun on vacation, and we'll see you when you get back. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Now check that out. That is the roof of the small hold on. That is over 38 feet wide and weighs over 2,500 pounds. So what we're going to do is actually build two separate Hogans that will be connected by a central corridor. One for Geraldine and, and her two little boys. Another one for Georgia and the rest of the family. But I got to say, that's pretty amazing. All right, see this big white box that's being brought in right now? This is the air purification system for Gwen. We know that she suffers from asthma. It's very important to keep this air and this new house clean and pure. That was one of Garrett's passions for keeping his sister healthy. We got all kinds of lily pads here. We got the lily pad desk, lily pad chair, lily pad uh, little table, lily pad nightstand, all the different lily pads making up different pieces of furniture for, for Gwen's room. Okay, now, this is actually one of the amazing pieces of junk that I found out behind the Aussie's old house. And junk is Garrett's inspiration I'm using in his mind, because in his room, he loves BMX, and every BMX rider loves a ramp, right? This week, one of my projects is Garrett's bedroom, and uh, since he loves BMX, I'm going all out. I'm talking about ramps and bicycles and parts and wheels, you name it, it's going to be in there. The bed'll be cantilevered out like that. So he'll be, he'll be, he'll be sleeping in suspended animation. Very cool. Okay, now in here we already got the drywall up. These guys are skim coating. So we've actually got the electricity cut out. And the coolest thing in here in the center of the Hogan, check this out. We've got our centerpiece. Logs, iron, definitely saying this is the center of the home. Okay, so our wind generator came from Sacred Power. They help people all over the Navajo Reservation here. This is one of the coolest things ever. We just got it up in the air. It's pointing toward the wind. As soon as we get our grid up, we flick a switch. Wind power! The Navajo people, they worship the earth and all its elements. So what better way to uh, pay homage to the sun than with solar power? And the way this works is there's millions and millions of tiny little crystals in there. We're taking Garrett's idea and moving it 10 steps forward. We've got these gigantic solar panels that actually move along with the sun. And that's energy for the Aussie family. Whatever energy they don't use goes down a current, which then goes to the town of Pinion into a grid, which is a really, really cool thing. Hello, Yazi family. Or should I say, Yate. Hi, guys. I'm here at your school, because I know that it means a lot to you. And you said there's one thing I could do this week to really kind of help out your town. It was to check in on the kids in school and see if we can't help out with a little science equipment. Well, that's exactly what I'm here to do. Awesome. <laughs> hi, kids. How are you? Hey. So this is Garrett and the family, and I thought maybe you guys might want to say hi. So say hi, Garrett. Hi. 
Hey! <laughs> so I know you want to make sure I took care of these guys and get them some science equipment for their classroom. Here's the cool thing. Our friends at Ford were able to do this. We've got new microscopes. We've gotten some, some solar kits, some projectors. You name it, we got all kinds of new equipment for the classroom. Do you like all the new equipment? Yeah! yeah. Thank you. There's one more thing I want to show you. Hold on. It was a good feeling knowing that the students that are going to go to school there are going to have a better education because education is really important. Without education, you, you will have nothing in life. There's something here that I want to show you that I think you're really going to like for several reasons. One, it's easy on the eyes, but also because it's this. It's a brand new 2008 Ford Escape Hybrid. It's fuel efficient and it's all yours. <laughs> so, Garrett, this is Sharif. He's with Ford. He's going to kind of explain how cool the car is. This vehicle is the cleanest SUV on Earth. And it can get 500 miles on one tank. It's an incredible clean vehicle, very environmental. It comes in four-wheel drive. It can go anywhere. We're so happy that we have a vehicle now, and it's safe for the environment and not polluting and it was a good feeling. Um, my whole family started crying. So all of you were hard work. <laughs> Love you for that, son. So it's the morning of day five. These guys are making amazing progress. Overnight, they leveled out all the land. There's our first tree. We're ready for landscaping. All indigenous plants, all which will be watered with gray water, which means your sinks, your tubs, all that water will be recycled here on the land. Everything that we're using is natural and making the earth work for the house. This here is Edom. We're putting up here on the roof. This is going to make this roof last about four times as long, probably 65 years on this roof. It'll also keep the house a lot cooler in the summertime, warmer in the winter. The Aussie's old trailer used to be uh, that the roof would be held down by tires. Now we have a green roof, living plants up on the roof that it helps insulate and it looks really cool too. We call it roofscaping. What would a green build be without a green roof, right? Right. Okay, we have a ton of shopping. I know, and we're out here in the middle of the desert, so here we go. Sears.com. Okay. Appliances, we definitely need Energy Star. Yes, Sears has a lot of Energy Star appliances, so let's start with washer and dryer. We are in a very remote area this week, and shopping for a house in a week, we obviously need a lot of stuff. So Michael and I decided to do a shopping trip online, which really worked out. So Quincy's car is all primed. I'm giving it its first layer of red paint. I've also renamed him Lightning McQuincy in honor of McQuincy. So I think he's going to love it. So here's the thing. I can't really show you my room, but I can show you this. Basically, I've had these guys work in lots of hours because it takes a few of us to go back and forth in and out of these things to actually kind of create what's going to be the headboard. My job this week is to create a really wonderful room for Georgia, a bedroom. So I thought I'd try and do something handmade because there's so many people in this community that make things with their hands. So I've decided to make this bed and this headboard that will really kind of be a one-of-a-kind kind of art piece. Now we only have one day left, so we're hoping we can finish this whole thing up well by the time the family gets home. That's all I'm going to show you. Let's move it, people. Let's see those fingers move. Hey guys, come over here. I want to show you something. Absolutely. What do we got? Well, okay. So in most homes, you've got power meters, right? Yeah. When power's going into the house, it's spinning one direction. Yep. Well, if you notice on this one, it's actually spinning the opposite direction. The reason for that is we've got enough for the house that we're actually sending it back out to the grid, so it's actually giving power to other families in the neighborhood. All of our hard work is paying off this week because harnessing the sun and the wind, we finally get to see that electric box, that wheel going the opposite way, which tells us that the Yazzie family will never have to pay an electric bill, and whatever energy they don't use goes into a grid, and the town of Pinion gets to use it. So it's a really cool thing. Let's finish this thing. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's move it. Let's yeah. yeah. Ah, beautiful, nice. OK, 
Okay, that's safe. Turned out pretty good, Polly. Thanks, man. Frog's good, but now he's got some place to land. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, he's just flying in the air. Yeah, that's not good. All of the appliances are here. All of my shopping from Sears, the Energy Star appliances. Let's get it in the house. Here we go. Coming in. Come on in. Don't make room, people. Don't make room. Well, uh, Beautiful. You know what that means? What? We're finished. We're finished. You get to bring them home. You're finished completely yeah. in here? Come high, we're done. Okay, nice. Awesome. Let's bring them home. before they actually walk through the door. And so their Uncle Tony is a medicine man. First he walked to the front door, which is facing east. Then he went to the west side, then he went to the north side, then he went to the south side. And so he went completely in those four directions and blessed each wall. The blessing means it, it, they want them to have a beautiful life in this house. Thank you. Okay. You were an inspiration to us this week. You figured out a way to create heat for your family when they needed it. Well, we were kind of inspired by that and tried to figure out a way not only to give you guys a heated house, but figure out a way to also give you a house that, that kind of works with Mother Nature. So are you guys ready to see what's yeah. behind that bus? Yeah. Are you positive? <laughs> trailer we had tires on our roof we had cracks in the window holes in the floor our roof leaking but now our new home is really beautiful it's just great to come home to you see these solar panels yeah. these guys actually move to follow the sun all day so they can maximize collecting as much of the uv rays as possible and over here got a wind generator when your house has plenty of power, all the extra that it generates goes back into the grid and helps out the people in your community. And you've also got plants on your roof. You see that? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> that actually uh, insulates the home, but also protects your roof, keeps it lasting longer. So you guys are utility free. I mean, that's what green living is all about. Seeing the solar panels and the plants on the roof and the wind generator, it felt good because it all falls back to what I was saying, walking with the Mother Earth and using the gifts of the Father's sky, knowing that it wouldn't hurt the environment, and knowing that we don't have to pay the bills anymore. It's a good feeling for my family, knowing that we don't have to struggle anymore. I'm sure you guys recognize that. The 2008 Ford Escape Hybrid. The best part is, it's all yours. Yes. Thank you. If you guys like the house, you have to say hi to Steve Sasso and the guys from Home Life Communities because they did an incredible job. We could not have done it without them. They have never slowed down all week. See you, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Well deserved. Well, Georgia, on behalf of Home Life Communities, we'd like to present you your keys to your new home and tell you it, it wasn't just building the home. It was about two nations coming together and working together. And we thoroughly enjoy it. We hope you enjoy your home. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Building a Hogan was really an experience. We learned so much about their culture. It was a, a learning curve for us, but we truly enjoyed it every step of the way. So do me a favor. Go check out your brand new house. Go check it out. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is what
what you call a home. <laughs> As I went in, I was looking at everything that was in there. It was so beautiful, and I was so happy to see it was like a home to come to, and I love my home. Hey, buddy. Did you change your invention? Yeah. Oh, we thought it was fitting that it, it would be right here in the entranceway when you came in. That's nice. I was surprised that my project was sitting there, and it was a good feeling for me and my family to know that we're going to start a new life in that home. I think the greatest thing about this kitchen is right here. That. I know, that's what you're yeah, 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 right That's how we <laughs> finally have running water. Uh -huh. And this is all throughout the house. Now this is Kenmore Energy Star, which means it actually uses less energy to run. Oh. So you guys got a brand new fridge, brand new dishwasher, um, stove, all new cabinets, dishes, you name it. Oh, wow. It was great to see this family smile and happy and see Garrett really realize that his, his family's gonna be okay. You had that sense that they were at peace and they, that, that weight was lifted off their shoulders. Do you guys like everything you've seen so far? Yes. yes. Would you like to see some more house? Yes. yes. Well then go check out your house. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe it. When I opened the door to my room, I was very excited. I love being Mexican because when you jump up in the air, <laughs> there's nothing like it. When that breeze hits your face, it's, it's magical. <laughs> oh my God. Look at all this stuff. Here, look. <gasps> so I ain't like your <laughs> You like it? Thank you, Garrett. It makes me happy a lot that now she can breathe fine. Nothing will happen to her. You don't need to run to the hospital anymore. I know living in that really beat up trailer mm -hmm. with no water and, and thinking it was going to blow away any minute was really tough on you. But you raised your family. And I think you're a pretty awesome mom. And I think you deserve a pretty special room. So I made your bedroom my special project this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> so why don't you go in check it out. Okay. This is neat. <laughs> to hear the water running meant a lot to me. It was a relief type of feeling that I had. Not only for myself, but for my kids. Hey. <laughs> so what do you think? I love it. <laughs> So, I know you didn't have a bathroom like this before, yeah. but um, this is really yours. I like, I really like. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. When we met a week ago, I could tell that uh, you'd really been through a lot. You were taking care of everybody, and especially your mom after the accident. Well, we figured out a way to get you your own Hogan. So, Geraldine, go check out your new Hogan. Oh my god. Look at this, look. Holy cow. This is so Oh my god. This is so cool. I saw a brand new life starting for everybody in that new house. Like especially for my kids when they're so young. And they can go go to school, come back to a warm, loving home. So good. I've actually had my own home to raise my kids in. Last year's been tough, huh? Really tough. Just so much stress. Just so, like I'm being pulled all over. So many directions. 
God, it's just nice to have my own place now. Just be close to my mom. Make sure she's okay. Not only can she raise her own family, but she can be close to the rest of her family. And that means everything to these guys. So um, that really brought it all home. To basically create two homes in one for this family was the best thing we could ever do. You want to see your bedroom? Oh, Who wants to see your bedroom? Let's go. Everybody wants to see your bedroom. You guys want to see your bedroom? Let's go see your bedroom now. Guys, go check out your bedrooms. Okay. <gasps> oh my oh, God! Oh man, look at all this. Look, Quincy. Lightning McQuincy. Look, your name, Jake Dear, Lightning McQuincy. Quincy really loves his room. He touched everything that was in that room. I think well, he thought it was Mirage or something. <laughs> he was just touching it, making sure it was real. Oh my god. <sighs> this is so great. Jolene? I like it. <laughs> it's great. It's your own room. <laughs> You want to see mommy? So, this is your own bedroom, and this is your nursery. That's a juice from sliding doors. I love the room, both, all three rooms. It's wonderful. So guess what? There's actually more to see. So let's gather the family, because I think you guys are going to want to see this. Okay? okay. Come on. There's some people who'd like to say hello. Hey. I'd like to the design team, Trace and Paul, Johnny and Mike. Hi. How you doing? Good. 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 Good because that's really the only option we have. Okay, so first of all, I guess you'd call this Navajo Ramada. So you got your outdoor dinner area, your outdoor cooking area. This is your, uh, your outdoor uh, social area, and that, of course, is your fire pit. From the beginning of the week to the end of the week, we fulfilled our mission. We figured out a way to harness the power of the sun, the wind, the earth. We stayed in the Navajo way of walking with the earth. I think we not only made one family's life better, we showed ways to make everyone's life better. I just want to say thank you to everyone. It means a lot for my family. At times, I didn't know what to do for my kids. And now that I know that they're being taken care of, it made my life easier for me now. The main thing that I wanted was still living under the same roof with both families, my family, my mom. And I got that. He lifted a lot of weight off my shoulder. And I just want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart. I love the house. And to see the, my kids, to see their big smiling faces. <coughs> to be proud to go in their own room. That really made me happy. Living in our new home means a lot to our family, and I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys that helped build our home and to give us a better life. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Yazi family. Welcome home. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 I,